So this is a going to be a video about a Tiger Cat 2 skag that came in. Uh, it wouldn't start at first, uh, but I did get it running on one cylinder. And we're going to show you what the problems are with it. And if we're going to fix it or not, I don't know. So I talked to the customer. So I'll just uh, show you from there. So if you're interested, stay tuned. We'll get right into it. skag that wouldn't start I finally got it to start and right now we're just gonna crank it up running on this one cylinder and I'll show you what it's doing <clears throat> like I said the choke was sticking on it still is but I've got it off now but uh, If you can see that but it's blowing black smoke out the muffler like it's uh like it's flooded basically uh then we check the oil well i checked the oil first but uh clean dipstick now look at that way overfilled with oil it doesn't kind of smells it doesn't smell like it's got gas but it may have gas in it now, if I plug this cylinder back up here, I want you to listen to what it's doing. <clears throat> to investigate a little more as we pulled the number two cylinder valve cover off and looky there mr. push rod fell out so that's definitely one issue uh, that might have a lot to do with it and by the way this oil looks it may have some gas in the oil too, cause it's, it's not looking good. Oh, that's not even lining up. Look, and that little tip broke. I bet you that tip on the cylinder is broken right there. And let this rocker arm move. The rocker arm holder has moved, cause look how how off that is right there yeah so that's allowed this to twist and that's why this push rides off damn that means we gotta pull ahead to fix it yeah expensive 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 and probably gonna need a new cylinder a new head I mean damn it all right well, there you go. Problem solved. Well, let me call him and give him the bad news. All right, guys, so we're back on the skag. So I called the customer, and we are going to fix it. We're going to put a new head on it. Uh, when I did take the head off, and I couldn't tell this before, but uh, the intake push rod, look at there. It's bent. I guess it got bent when it started backfiring because the exhaust valve couldn't uh, open any and it probably got bent and that's what that backfire is coming back through the carburetor was now I did pull the uh, valve cover off of here and look inside here on this on the number one cylinder and it looks like everything's fine I've got to adjust the valves on it anyway and uh, so we we've already got the new head in and here it is uh, I'm just transferring parts over. The valves were still good and the valve uh, 
springs and so I've already got the new valves in I lapped them in uh, I've already tested them sealing up just fine and I always put all my bolts back in the head so I don't lose them until I get ready to go put back together I had to transfer the studs from the old head for the muffler the muffler studs uh, you know you just double nut it and get them off double nut double nut it I like to double nut but uh, here's a little closer look this is what uh, broke right there it's supposed to be a tit like up here on this one sticking up that's what broke uh, it didn't look it doesn't it, I can't really tell but it doesn't look like the uh, valve guys moved any uh, well that one the intake may have moved some it is sticking down lower than it should be a little bit but anyway so we got that uh, and I'm not gonna bore you with uh, showing you you know it's a normal routine I've done plenty of videos on these Kawasaki's uh, we're gonna clean up the mating surfaces new head gasket new intake manifold gaskets valve cover gaskets, adjust the valves, uh, you know, the normal, I'll come back once I get that, the reason I haven't put the, uh, this one on the head yet, the rocker arm guide, is because I have to leave it off till I install the head back on, because the head bolt has to, that gets in the way of the head bolt, and we've got the gasket set, and so, anyway, I cleaned up a bunch of this mess in here. I mean, it's still not clean all the way, but it was just caked up, even behind here. And he said he'd been cutting leaves last fall, so, or somebody he had, was using them more or whatever. But it probably overheated, I would guess. And we're hoping that the head gasket is not blown over here. But it was running on this cylinder by itself pretty good, so I'm pretty confident this side's good. But uh, once we get it all back together, I'll show you it cranking up and running. Hopefully. All right, guys, well, scratch what I told you. We're just going to make this a two-part video because uh, I've got to wait on the push rods to come in. I can't get them here locally, and I'm not going to be able to get those till Saturday. And, you know, we've got to, still we've got to change the oil and the oil filter, and uh, he wants to go ahead and get it lubed up while it's here. And these things have a lot of grease bittens. Uh, I'm going to have to get me another tube of grease, speaking of that. And uh, so we're just going to end this one here, and then I'll uh, come back and shoot some, you know, putting it back together and uh, greasing it up where the maybe where the uh, grease points are on this. But taking this apart uh, on the skag, I did have to take, you know, just this guard loose right here that fits in behind there. That was so I could get the. Uh, this is a, a through bolt that goes, but in order to, for me to back it off, because I didn't want to take all this loose, so I just loosened up, you know, the, like I said, I've done plenty of these before, but I loosened up the intake on this side, uh, took the muffler nuts off here, and loosened this side up. I didn't take it all the way off on this side, but just enough to get that head clear. And there's a bottom plate on this skag that had to come off uh, in order for me to get up in there to get the muffler bolts off. And it was just caked with debris and oil and whatever. But anyway, so on the next one, like I said, we'll show you kind of putting it back together a little bit. I'm not going to do a detailed video on it because you've seen me do it before. And uh, hopefully that'll straighten this one out. So thanks for watching the video. Appreciate all you guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, stay tuned for part two. Jungle Bob out.